Hey guys, it's me again. I have a new haircut. And welcome to topic number 12 of the late night edition. And tonight we're going to be talking about Mr. Bean. Now, he is played by perhaps one of the greatest comedic actors or British comedic actors of all time. Famous for his mime work in Mr. Bean is played by Rowan Atkinson. He made the role famous. Of course, there was an original TV series which ran for 14 episodes. Not very long at all, really. But they had some episodes that didn't even air. Like, such as Hair by Mr. Bean of London and Tea Off Mr. Bean. So, count those to its 16 episodes over quite a lengthy period of time actually, uh, 1989 to 93. Um, <laughs> so episodes were pretty much spaced out over that four year period, but not many episodes, eh? Now, the character himself is balmy and mad and indeed funny. It gets into wacky situations and tries to make it every day. It's a part of his everyday life. Um, he goes swimming in one episode and tries to go on the highest diving board, but is too chicken to actually jump off the board and into the water. Um, he saves a heart attack victim. And gives him another heart attack, oh dear. And um, he also goes shopping uh, on New Year's Day. Um, he actually tries to a bit of DIY. And needless to say, he does not succeed. He also goes to a school fate. And... Wreaks havoc. In fact... The, the, the one better way to help me describe this is I'm gonna get his Wikipedia page up. Or maybe I'm not. It's just so random. Now, how many times have I used the word random and appear? But that's exactly what's happening. Stuff appears or something. Uh, I guess I'm not going to be using the aid of the internet. So I'm trying to burn off a DVD and not only does it slow the internet down, but it also makes it unresponsive. So, okay, um, Rim Reeks Havoc, and he, he plays golf or tries to play golf, but he cheats. He looks after a, oh, he, he tries to look after a baby and almost loses it. He tries to make a sandwich and fails miserably at that. He fails miserably at almost everything he does, including spending a night in a hotel in the room 426. There's no end to the mishaps he gets up to. Of course, there are two theatrical films based on the show. 
the most fucked up level of all is level A. Here, the king never appears. Just never. It never appears. And. For about an hour. Well, I do have them both back. Um, I'll see you in just a couple, guys. Okay, guys. Um, now what I said before about using the internet or not to actually uh, get the information we need. Well, we are going to actually use the internet. We're going to go for the Wikipedia page on Mr. Bean. And then we can actually get this underway. Trying to use the internet while burning off a DVD is well, it slows it down. Mr. Bean. And we're only focusing on the original series of Mr. Bean and not that crappy animated series that came later. Now, as I said before, there are only 14 episodes. And those 14 episodes are as follows with very short synopses. They are. Mr. Bean. Bean attends a maths exam. Changes into his swimming trunks without a map. Excuse me. Without a man seeing him and struggles to stay awake during a church service, much to the annoyance of the man it, he sits next to. The return of Mr. Bean. Bean busks to pay a busker, tries out his new credit card in a department store, orders steak at a restaurant, but then tries a million and one ways to not to eat it, and then has an uncomfortable altercation with Queen Elizabeth II. The Curse of Mr. Bean. Bean visits a local pool where he realizes he's sick, he's scared of diving and tries to find a way to leave the car park without paying. Makes a sandwich in the park, jumps a traffic light in his car by getting out and pushing it and then takes his girlfriend to watch a scary movie. Mr. Bean goes to town. Bean buys a portable television but seems to be having difficulty getting good reception. He then has his camera stolen in the park and later finds a unique way of identifying the culprit, Nick Hancock. Okay, after leaving his shoe on top of a car, Bean finds himself hopping around town to retrieve it. Later he finds a novel use of a photo booth 
and then takes his girlfriend to see a magic show. Excuse me, I'm looking for my watch. The trouble with Mr. Bean. Bean wakes up late and has to drive to his dental appointment on the other side of town while dressing and brushing his teeth. His appointment progresses badly after he manages to anesthetize the dentist. Later he tries to help a young boy with his remote control boat sending an electric wheelchair out of control. He then tries and fails to have a picnic without being pestered by flies. Mr. Bean rides again. Bean tries to save a man suffering from a heart attack. But, what, but when the ambulance arrives, he uses it to jump start his car, inadvertently disabling the ambulance. Later, he tries to post a letter and ends up getting locked inside the inside a post box. Bean then packs a, packs for a holiday, suffers a noisy man on the train journey and then has to find a way to entertain a sick boy on the plane. Merry Christmas, Mr. Bean. Bean finds a miniature nativity scene in Harrods and performs his own take on the birth of Jesus with army troops and Daleks. Later he conducts a brass band and attempts to cook a turkey. He then relaxes for a somewhat reserved Christmas meal with his girlfriend. But has to go but has he got her the present she wanted? Mr Bean in room four twenty six. Unhappy with his hotel room, Bean makes many modifications to improve it. He later has an uncomfortable night after eating bad oysters. He is awoken by his neighbour, but when he goes to complain, he locks himself out of his room, completely naked. Bean attempts to get a spare key with his modesty intact but this results in altercation with fellow hotel guests played by Danny LaRue do it yourself Mr. Bean it's the end of 1993 and Bean is hosting a New Year's Eve party with his own unique style of fun however it's not going it's not long before his guests discover there's no more fun to be had at the flat ne there's more fun to be had next at the flat next door and devise a way of tricking Bean into letting them go The following morning he tries to spot a DIY and literally starts off the new year with a bang. So actually I think he continued into 95 actually. Um, mind the baby Mr Bean, one of my personal favourites. Uh, while visiting Southsea, Bean accidentally becomes lumbered with a baby with no idea how or where it came from. He does the honourable thing of treating it to a day at the fun fair. Somehow the baby manages to survive Bean's unique style of mishaps before thankfully being reunited with his mother. Back to school Mr Bean. Bean attends an open day at a school and unleashes his usual brand of chaos in the various classes he visits. Despite all his fun, Bean's day takes a 
somber turn when he discovers his cherished mini isn't where he left it. Tee off, Mr. Bean. After causing chaos in a laundrette, Bean tries his hand at crazy golf after being told he can only touch the ball with his club. Bean's poor aim leads him to an elaborate tour around town before returning to the course several hours later to score 3,427. Good night, Mr. Bean. Bean tries to find ways to jump but jump the queue in a hospital waiting room. Later he tries to get his camera to automatically take a picture of him stood next to a Queen's guard. Unhappy with this, he takes advantage of the guard's duty to remain still by doing all he can to comically alter his appearance. At the end of the day, Bean tries to cure his insomnia with some unusual methods. Here by Mr. Bean of London, the last actual episode, Bean ends up holding the fork for his hairdresser and gives several customers terrible haircuts. Bean then attends a fate but cheats all the way but cheats all the games and enters Teddy into a dog show. Later, after a train journey, Bean loses his ticket and tries various ways to leave without being seen by the guards. His efforts fail as he ends up on a mail train bound, to, bound for Moscow. And then we have the best bits of Mr. Bean. It's raining so Bean ventures into his loft with Teddy to find an umbrella. He then sifts through his shifts sifts there should be shifts through his stored items. He begins to reminisce his past adventures, including the dental appointment, the church service, and the time his mini was crushed by a tank. And then he also starred in some sketches, mainly the library, an unaired sketch that appears only on video. Mr. Bean visits a rare book library where he reads a rare tome that must be handed with, handled with gloves. Soon after, he uses a pencil and a crayon to copy a page of the book by shading on a piece of tracing paper. He sneezes and the tracing paper slips away. He doesn't notice this and continues to use a crayon for shading, but on the book instead of the tracing paper. When he notices, he, when he notices this, he attempts to remove the crayon marks, first by erasing them by using correction fluid, but eventually ends up tearing out the pages that of someone else at his table. Okay guys, you basically get the idea, Mr. Bean is very very funny guys you need to watch it if you haven't seen it yet and there are only 14 episodes of the classic series but they are well worth the watch and that is where this episode must come to an end so guys until tomorrow 
I leave you. I'm not going to tell you what tomorrow's topic is, so good night guys, and I'll see you tomorrow for another new topic. Until then, be safe, have a good night, and be good. <laughs>